Hello, I'm Jeannie from MSK Marai. Today, we'll examine several radiologic signs to identify bucket handle tears, focusing on the absent bow tie sign, flipped meniscus sign, and the disproportionately small posterior horn sign. First, let's discuss the absent bow tie sign. This sign is not specific to bucket handle tears. Typically, the medial and lateral menisci manifest as low signal triangular structures connected by a thin body resembling a bow tie. When fewer than two sagittal slices show a normal body of the meniscus, it suggests meniscal pathology. This can include a bucket handle tear with displacement, a flap tear with displacement, prior resection of a meniscal tear, or degenerative maceration of the meniscus's inner edge, resulting in the absence of the normal bow tie appearance. In bucket handle tears, such as this one, the meniscus shows displacement toward the intercondylar notch, the innermost bow tie is not visible, and the anterior and posterior horns appear irregular and truncated. This patient's images mimic the absent bow tie sign, attributed to a full thickness radial tear. The next case, where the patient underwent a partial meniscectomy, resulting in a markedly small anterior horn, resembles the absent bow tie sign. Therefore, the absent bow tie sign can be considered a nonspecific finding. Next, we'll explore the flipped meniscus sign and disproportionately small posterior horn sign. This sign indicates a larger meniscal posterior horn in the central section than in the peripheral section of the sagittal MRI image. It results from a meniscal fragment displaced posteriorly and centrally. The disproportionate posterior horn sign is identified with a meniscal tear featuring a posteriorly flipped fragment. When bucket handle fragments primarily involve the anterior body segment or posterior body segment of the meniscus, they displace and lie over the posterior meniscus or anterior meniscus, either giving a doubled up appearance or a disproportionately large horn. This is termed the flipped meniscus sign or the flipped fragment sign. When displaced anteriorly, the flipped meniscus exhibits the double anterior horn sign. And when displaced posteriorly, it manifests as the disproportionate posterior horn sign. Thank you for tuning into this presentation. If you find this information useful, please consider supporting us with a like.